sending the first American woman and another American man to the lunar surface is going to cost a fortune. An estimated $30 billion to be exact. Now, of course, part of the American public is wondering, is this going to be a good investment? Well, that's a question that has been asked numerous times, and its engineers have testified before Congress many, many times to try and get a little bit of extra cash. Congress kept asking, what's the return on investment? Can we go up there and create things in, in a laboratory? Finally, one day I said, you know what? What did we do? Satellite position, global positioning systems, communication systems, weather satellites, intelligence satellites, communicate. All of those systems came about as a result of committing to go to space. So if you were investing in a company and you spent those kind of resources but got that kind of return, you'd probably keep doing it. Now, yes, GPS, satellite communications, those are the pretty obvious things. But then there's all the rest. For example, the smoke detector was invented when Apollo 1 caught fire on the pad and killed the whole of its crew. Apollo 8 was the place where you could find the very first portable computer with microchips. The dust buster you use to take crumbs off the table every evening. Well, that was invented to collect dust on the moon. Portable power tools, carbon fiber, nappies for babies. All that was invented thanks to space exploration. Now, the big question that Congress always asks is, what are we going to invent this time? Well, the fact of the matter is, no one knows. Back in the day, no one knew all that stuff would be invented with Apollo.